So I've been reading a paper for the past two hours and it's come as a great shock to me to find about some results. As a matter of fact, with the result of the Breaking Dead results hosted by Enlisted, we got to see a lot of new things and with this paper, which I'll link down below, I think we have a better chance to understand where Enlisted is right now. This video has been obviously made by the friends at Discord, meaning if you haven't liked, subscribe, or joined the Discord, I highly suggest that you do. And the reason why this video is being made is to look at the player account for Enlisted, and where is Enlisted in general. But that said, let's get started. So before we even talk about the paper, we have to talk about Enlisted before. Going back all the way to the 20th of July 2021, at the Operation Battle Summer, we had an average participant of 212 thousand participants. Now this is actually not that bad for Enlisted, remember this is by 2021 standards, which hey 2021, this is now 2024, I say is a massive improvement from what we have right now. Moving on we have fiery November results and that is essentially in November of 2021, so a few months later we have 556,000. Now that is actually also very good. Number one, you have to realize in almost around half a year-ish they got, what, they doubled their numbers for a game that is starting that's actually pretty good. What is not good is that around a year later in August of 2022, the number has only gone up by 590,000. Now that is a little bit concerning. And this is where the paper that I just read came in. You see, if you go to activeplayer.io, you see a lot of interesting stuff. One of them is actually the player count. Now, Enlisted does have a monthly player count, and that is where we get to some interesting stuff. And the first thing that you notice once you see this player count is that in August of 2021, they had the most amount of players, and that is at around an average monthly player count of around 2.4 million, which is actually a lot for a game. Now, of course, you have to realize that the game officially, they officially start counting at July of 2021, in which they already instantly, around that point, got around 1.7 million. Now, after time, as you can see with this graph, the people of play, the amount of players enlisted has has just gone smaller and smaller, which is uneventually sad. Now, Enlisted has said, or a lot of people have stated, that the entire reason why Enlisted is losing players, and players so badly, is because of the merge. But if you actually look at what has happened around the merge, which the merge came around during December, or to be exact, December 4th, the amount of players actually increased. In December, you have 516,000, and January, you have 575,000. But we also have to realize the massive amount of players lost during the first few months of the release. As a matter of fact, within the first few months, you see a lot of players being lost, which is a very bad thing. It did peak up once again in January 2022, and then it just went down in July of 2023. Now, the reason why Enlisted has this massive problems of players is actually stated in the article down below, which players reported being lack of communication, which makes the game less enjoyable, not only with the players, but also with the dev, which is an important issue, and bots spoil the game. Soldiers prefer to play with real players, and not to mention that with the recent updates, which in all reality surprisingly has bought more players to the game, they express dissatisfaction. Now, what they mean by that is that enlisted with the recent updates, they have brought some players away, but according to the graph, there are players coming back, which means that they're kicking the older players away, but making the new players come in, which is not a good thing, if you ask me. If you ask me, enlisted should just have their player base to be continuously growing. If this chart is accurate, and, and is true to what it says, then the amount of players has just been only decreasing and decreasing. There have been a few bumps on the way of increasing players, but still, in the grand scheme of things, since May and August of 2021, the enlisted has just been crashing. And that is where we get to the, the Breaking Dead update, on which we only have 237,000 participants. Compared to this to Silent Hunter, we got 590,000, and Fiery November, we have 556,000. Even in Battle Summer, which occurred during essentially the high point of Enlisted, we only got 212,000. This 207,000 participants for Breaking Dead, which by all reality is one of the best missions in game, is a disappointment not only for Enlisted, but for everyone in the community. Now, before I start rambling on of how bad this is for Enlisted, let me just cut to the chase. 
what can Enlisted do? And at this point, there's nothing much they can do. What I mean is that they've already kind of shot themselves in the foot. The merge, they can't undo the merge. I'm sorry guys, they just can't undo the merge. They can't undo the merge, they can't bring the campaign system back because that's, that's practically impossible. You've already sold out the campaign system and you're selling out the merge for everyone to enjoy the merge, but you can't just go back. So what Enlisted is here is in a tricky position. The merge didn't bring people to Enlisted. With the Steam update, they didn't even go on Steam. And the entire Steam debacle is more of a joke than anything. So Enlisted is in a really, really tough spot. Breaking Dead actually brought back some players, which is uh, amazement. But in the grand scheme of things, ever since August of 2021, they've been losing a lot of players. That said, what Enlisted needs to do right now, right this moment, is to get players back. I don't care what they do. Their priority is to get players back. For example, people are complaining about a lot of things. Fix those complaints, increase player retention, and most importantly, have your players who enjoy the game. If you do that, this graph will just keep going up and up. Now, judging where Enlisted is, I have a very bad feeling for Enlisted right now. But, once again, let's be hopeful, and hopefully Enlisted goes up because something big really needs to change at Enlisted Headquarters. That's it, have a great day guys, I'll see you in the next one.